Right now, I'm standing on a piece of ground that was once owned by William Penn. In 1965, this gorgeous piece of ground became a golf club. Today, this golf club is recognized as one of the top clubs in Chester County. Where am I? Find out next on Winning Golf. It's in the hole. Winning golf, that's what we play. Working on that short game. Being mobbed by the contestants. I'm near the green again. That's where the action all the begins. Wow. With Winning Golf. Everybody wins. That's right. Everybody wins. Hi everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. And today, Winning Golf comes to you from the beautiful Penn Oaks Golf Club. And joining me today to compete in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge is a very talented group of players sponsored by McGillan Architecture. And hosting this incredible group is our 2017 Winning Golf Grand Champion and a very dear friend of mine, Howard Leibold. Howard, first of all, welcome to the show. And Howard, this is going to be a very special day because my plan today is to give out lots of great prizes hopefully a golf getaway and maybe even a brand new GMC terrain. Howard, I hope this team is ready to play some winning golf. Well, I hope so too, Doug. Um, we're really excited to be able to invite a bunch of uh, clients, consultants, contractors that we work with, uh, that we have the privilege of working with every day out here for a great day. And uh, we're looking forward to creating some highlights for you and your show. Well, thank you, Howard. Appreciate you being here. Hey guys, I've got to ask you a question. You ready to play some winning golf? Yes! Awesome, I love your enthusiasm. Well, our first contest is a putting contest, and this is gonna be fun, because in this contest, all of you, all 16 of you are gonna putt from 30 feet at the same time. Sound fun? Yeah. Now, some of the golf balls could deflect off of each other. That's part of the fun, guys. The bottom line is whoever winds up close to the cup will win a prize, and what a prize, fellas. How about a beautiful winning golf logo Footjoy wind shirt? Is that awesome? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Howard, let's get your team ready to putt. Let's do it. Okay, we have 16 very excited contestants ready to putt from 30 feet. Close to the cup will win a gorgeous Footjoy wind shirt. Ready, guys? One, two, three, putt. And here they come, some rolling left to right, some right to left, balls rolling everywhere. One is in the hole, we have a winner. Well, Paul McDonald, congratulations. That was an unbelievable putt right in the back of the cup. And you navigated around 15 other golf balls, Paul. Now you'll be taking him a beautiful winning golf logoed Footjoy wind shirt. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the contest. Absolutely, Doug. Very competitive. <laughs> well, thank you, Paul. Well, as you can see, this McGillan team knows how to play some winning golf. And the great news is we still have lots of wonderful contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around today's host facility, one of the jewels of Chester County, the spectacular Penn Oaks Golf Club. Penn Oaks Golf Club, a private club uniquely positioned in both Chester and Delaware counties, opened its doors in 1965. The 142 acres offers golfers amazing views surrounded by tree-lined fairways, beautiful ponds, lush landscaping, rolling hills, and adventurous terrain. The beautifully manicured golf course was designed by famous golf architect Russell Roberts. From the tips, Penn Oaks stretches to over 6,600 yards and although the narrow fairways and undulating greens can be very challenging, the golf course offers four sets of tees, making a day on the golf course enjoyable for players of all levels. One thing is for sure, with the 20 new 007 Bentgrass USGA Spec Greens, as well as additional course projects such as new tee boxes, bunkers, and cart paths, this golf course is now recognized as one of the gems in Chester County. In addition to the pristine golf course, the golf amenities are abundant. So right now we're standing on the driving range here where you can hit your driver or hit some short shots to, to our target greens. And then we have a warm up area or chipping area that's by the first tee that you can really practice your good short game. And we also have a hole on the golf course, the four, four and a half hole we call it, that you can really go down there and concentrate on your game on any shot you really want by yourself, have some privacy away from everybody and maybe hit a few golf balls and then go in and have a wonderful meal at the clubhouse. The dedicated pro shop staff offers a first class tournament program, a fully stocked pro shop, as well as over the top service to all members and guests on a daily basis. And last but certainly not least, the top notch instructional programs. We have so many instructional programs here at Penn Oaks. We have something for absolutely everybody. It starts off with the beginning of the season. We have Get Golf Ready programs. $100 gets you five hours of instruction. Uh, we take, take an absolute beginner 
to somebody that can go out and play the game and enjoy it. We also have clinics for couples. We have clinics for the ladies. We have clinics for our junior golfers. Not only our members, but outside, non-members. We do a lot of that. Anything we can do to promote the game, we do here at Penn Oaks. Of course, Penn Oaks offers more than just a golfing experience. The modern clubhouse includes a newly renovated ballroom, a private dining room, as well as a new men's lounge and locker room. Recent construction includes a stunning new club entrance, a popular pub, a gorgeous enclosed pub patio, as well as a ballroom patio and tent area that allows the Pen Oak staff to host events for up to 400 people. Of course, with new clubhouse facilities, it's important to offer a full culinary experience. At Pen Oaks, whether it's a fine dining, intimate, or a casual setting, the experience comes with a five-star menu, delicious dishes, selected wines, amazing views, and superior service. And for larger events, such as holiday parties, weddings, bar or bat mitzvahs, corporate meetings, or golf outings, the professional clubhouse staff provides three dedicated event coordinators, always ready and willing to exceed your expectations. In fact, the entire staff at Pen Oaks has one simple goal in mind for all members and guests, and that is to make sure your experience at Pen Oaks is simply perfect. If interested in finding out information about membership or how to plan your special event, please call 610-399-0501 or check out the web at pennoaksgolfclub.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Steve Krummenacher, Scott Gamble, Tom Reed, Paul McDonald, Joe Barnes, Steve Burridge, Howard Liebold, Pierce Keating Jr., Tony Santora, Mike Ryan, Joe Shorn, Tony Nakarado, Cameron McTavish, James Sturgis, Joe Brockle. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Fellas, today's Foot Joy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm going to share with you the most important key to success when facing a long putt. Part two, Steve Burge is going to put my putting tip into action. And part three is the Foot Joy Contest, where all of you will get to try a long putt at the same time, compete for an unbelievable prize, guys. How about an awesome pair of Foot Joy shoes? The number one shoe in golf. Is that awesome? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Great. Let's talk about long putting. Fellas, many players have trouble with long putting simply because their last thought is not about the speed of the putt. They think about everything else but the speed of the putt. That's the most important part of a long putt. Here's my simple putting routine. I read the green and establish my line. Then I set my putter face on that line. Once my putter face is set, then I take my body and align it parallel to the target line. My feet, my hips, and my shoulders are now facing that same target line. That's the goal when I'm set up. But once I'm done that, I completely clear my head. At game time, the only thing I'm thinking about is the speed of my putt. Let's talk about the line. If you're 40 feet away and you leave your first putt three feet from the cup, would you be happy? Yeah. I know I would be happy, right? right? That means you could miss it three feet left or three feet right. That's a six foot window for your line. I don't think the line's gonna be the big issue for a long putt, is it? No. It's going to be your speed. So I want your last thought over a long putt to be speed. Sound good, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Well, before we get to our exciting foot joy contest, I'd like Steve Burridge to come up here and put this tip in action. Have a nice applause for Steve. Right, Steve. Hey, seems like a great guy. All right, Steve. So. Read the putt for us, okay? And then I want you to align your putter face and then align your body, okay? It looks pretty good, all right? And once you're ready, let me know. Okay, okay now I want you to focus 100% on the speed. I'm gonna step back with this wonderful McGillan team. When you're ready, let's roll one into that circle from 40 feet. Here it comes from left to right. Will it get there? That's the question. The stroke is beautiful. Will it get there? That is inside the circle. And that's a great effort, Steve. Hey, I hope you learned a lot today. Enjoy the tip. I did. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Hey, guys, ready to try to win a pair of Foot Joy shoes? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. Our Foot Joy shoe contest features a 40-foot putt. No problem for Tony Nacarado. Tony Nacarado. 
with a nice setup. Drifting a little bit to the right, but that's a nice touch by Tony Nakarado. Okay, Tony. Howard Liebold rolls it nicely to two and a half feet. Howard Liebold from 40 feet. Ah, uh, he's the perfect host. The perfect host, Howard Liebold. Just lay it up there nice. Tom Reed is a little closer with this fine putt. Well, this looks pretty good, guys. Moving from left to right. This one's got a chance if it gets to the cup, and that's a great effort by Tom Reed. Mike Ryan has a smooth Mike stroke. Mike Ryan moving from left to right. Speed looks good. The line looks good. Mike Ryan's got a chance. Mike Ryan, oh, right over the lip of the cup. Cameron McTavish is the first to less than a foot from the cup. A very nice pendulum stroke, and this should be about pin eye when it's done. And that's a great effort by Cameron McTavish. But Pierce Keating Jr. grabs the shoes with this beautiful putt to three inches. Right on the doorstep, Pierce Keating. What an effort, Pierce. Well, guys, our Foot Joy contest winner is Pierce Keating Jr. Thank you. Pierce, congratulations. That was a great putt. Your speed was perfect. You left it three inches from the cup. And now you'll be taking home a beautiful pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf, Pierce. But my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add a spectacular golf getaway to those new foot joy shoes? Oh, I'd love it. I love your enthusiasm. And I hope you have the opportunity when winning golf returns. Joy to this. Joy to tour tested performance. Joy to being number one in shoes and gloves. Joy to rain and making it rain. Birdies, that is. Joy to feel and feeling it. Joy to knowing our golf obsessed team has your back and has for over 100 years. The all new Cleveland CBX will change wedge design forever. It's a more advanced, more forgiving wedge, specifically engineered for golfers who play cavity back irons, giving you spin, control, and all the forgiveness you need to get closer. The all new Cleveland CBX Wedge. This is the short game changer. Prizes and tea gifts for the winning golf skills challenge provided by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at P.J.'s. A-Head Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. A-Head, Pure Putters, Higher MOI Plus Adjustability. No other putter offers the performance and versatility of a Cure Putter. Red Arrow Markers, Mark, Aim, Align, and Sync. Red Arrow. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman. Performance by design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Golf Getaway Putt, sponsored by Harrison Group Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, are you ready to try to win a spectacular golf getaway? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, here's the deal. Our wonderful host, Howard Liebel, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then select one golf ball from this Rick's on bag. Now, fellas, that golf ball will tell us the distance of the putt. It could be 15, 20, or 25 feet, all makeable putts, right, fellas? Yes, sir. Especially for this group. Right. Now, if that player can roll in the putt, he would win an amazing three-day, two-night golf getaway for two to a beautiful Ocean City of Maryland. How's that sound, fellas? Wow. What a prize. What a trip. We've given away two this year. Hopefully one more today. Howard, you're on stage, my friend. Who's our lucky contestant at beautiful Penn Oaks Golf Club? Somebody's going to get a beautiful chance on this 18th Pierce green. Pierce Keating Jr. Oh, Pierce oh, Keating oh, Jr. Oh, come on up here. here Pierce, congratulations. Thank you. Now I'd like you to reach in the, in the bag without looking. Thank you. And let's see where we're putting from. Oh my feet. gosh. Right. 15 feet, everybody. Right. Let's go win a trip. Pierce Keating Jr. is ready to go. If he can roll in this putt from 15 feet, Pierce will win a first class three day, two night golf getaway for two to a beautiful Ocean City, Maryland, courtesy of Harrison Group Golf. Just love working with that Harrison Group team. Let's see if Pierce can do it. We've given away two trips this year already. Here it comes. The speed looks good. The line looks good. This one's got a chance. Pierce Keating, oh, just over the lip of the cup. What a great effort by Pierce Keating Jr. Well, Pierce Keating Jr., that was a great effort. You rolled it right over the lip of the cup. You didn't win the prize, but I still hope you had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Well, we didn't give away the golf getaway this week, but the exciting news is we still have a ton of awesome prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. 
Our winning golf skills challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. Round one features a 90-foot uphill chip from the fairway. Steve Burridge shows off his short game skills. Getting on top of that hill, moving from left to right, and that's a nice touch by Steve. Well done, Steven. Yep. Paul McDonald chips it well. Paul McDonald with a pitching wedge. Up on top of that hill and about pin high, Paul. Well done, buddy. Nice job, pal. Scott Gamble is the first to seven and a half feet. He's gonna get up the hill. And that's a nice touch by Scott Gamble. Well done, Scott. Pierce Keating Jr. eyes the prize with this fine effort. With a sand wedge, and that's about pin high. Well done, Pierce. But Howard Liebold ships this gem to 4 feet 11 inches to take the round. That is winning golf by Howard Liebold. Well done. Up next is a 25-yard pitch shot from the heavy rough. Joe Barnes is focused in. Joe Barnes with a pitching wedge. And boy, what a touch by Joe. This got a chance. That is a great effort by Joe Barnes. Well done, Joe. Tony Santoro pitches it to less than eight feet. Hopefully move from left to right. Here it comes, Tony. And that is a beautiful touch, Tony. Well done. Mike Ryan has no problem getting out of the heavy rough. And look at this touch by Mike. Moving from left to right, and that's winning golf by Mike Ryan. Cameron McTavish pitches a tremendous shot to two and a half feet. From 25 yards with a sand wedge. And look at this shot by Cameron. That is winning golf, Cameron. Well done. But Joe Shorn plays winning golf. 25 yards with a sand wedge, moving from left to right. This got a chance to go in. Joe Shorn for a highlight. That's in the cup. What a shot. <laughs> Round three is a challenging 20-yard steep downhill chip from the rough. Steve Krummenacher chips it to four and a half feet. Steve Krummenacher with a pitching wedge down the hill. And that's a nice touch by Steve. Good soft hand, Steve. Well done. Joe Barnes is a couple of inches closer. With a 52-degree gap wedge. And this is going to be a pretty good shot. Just past the pin on the left side. A nice effort by Joe Barnes. Right. Tom Reed shows some touch as his ball stops at one foot nine inches. Moving from left to right. And that's a great touch by Tom Reed. Well right. done, Tom. Joe Brockle mastering the downhill chip. Joe Brockle with a pitching wedge and a beautiful touch. This one's got a chance to go in. Joe Brockle right on the doorstep. But the shot of the round belongs to Tony Nacarado. Down the hill, will it hit the pin? It's got a chance. Tony Nacarado right off the stick. <laughs> At six inches, he takes the round. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. Well, I'm here with Steve DeMarco, the managing partner at Pen Oaks Golf Club. And Steve, boy, I've been here 14 years, but I can tell you over the last three years, new greens, new bar area, new patio dining, uh, new practice facility, new locker rooms, expanded banquet facilities, and now a beautiful new front entrance, Steve. It's great to be a member here at Pen Oaks right now. Oh, Doug, you know, we just, like, uh, we love it, you know, and, you know, we have a philosophy, and especially it's one of my philosophies, you know, if you're standing still, you're going backwards. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we don't like to stand still here at Pen Oaks. We're always trying to inch up and, uh, you know, improve the guest experience, you know. You know, Pen Oaks, you know, is really about hospitality. You know, we really preach it every day. It's, you know, you have, you know, coming here, we want you to we have warm, friendly smiles. We really want you to enjoy it when you're here, and we love it when you're here, and we treat everyone like family. Well, that's wonderful, Steve, and I, always a pleasure seeing you, and I know each part of the season, something new is gonna happen here at Pen Oaks, and you guys have done a tremendous job, and I see the happiness around here. It's yeah. a wonderful thing to be at Pen Oaks. Great, glad you're here, Doug, and it's, uh, you know, it's a pleasure. We'd love people to come out and see what Pen Oaks is doing. You know, we love it. Thank you, Steve. The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week our players are tested with this 15-yard downhill short pitch. James Sturgis has a fine effort. James Sturgis. All right, James. Good try, buddy. 
Joe Brothel sets the mark at just over four feet. It's a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke, and that's winning golf, Joe. Well done. Good touch. Good job today. Tony Santoro is a foot closer. Well, he's online. This one's got a chance to hit the cup. Tony Santoro. Oh, but my two goodness. players would advance. Joe Shorn with this wonderful shot to just nine inches. This could hit the hole. Look at this touch by Joe Shorn. And Scott Gamble, who pitches it even closer. This one's got a chance to go in. Scott Gamble going right at it. That is on the doorstep. Awesome. So it'll be Gamble and Shorn to battle it out for the title of this week's champion. All this and more when winning golf continues. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Hotel in Malvern. In early 2018, the Desmond will become a soft-branded Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, where you'll be able to enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. Stop by for a warm hello, where soon you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Joy to this. Joy to tour tested performance. Joy to being number one in shoes and gloves. Joy to rain and making it rain. Birdies, that is. Joy to feel and feeling it. Joy to knowing our golf obsessed team has your back and has for over 100 years. How do you want to live as a decent person, a fine human being, a good friend? Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Sterling Cut Glass, an official licensee of the PGA Tour and trophy supplier to thousands of the country's top courses. And Shrixon Golf Balls. Shrixon delivers total performance. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, umbrellas that make a statement. Haas Jordan. And the Orange Whip Trainer. You gotta feel it, the Orange Whip. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. It's time now for the winning golf up and in playoff. Brought to you by 4 Telecom Health. Keeping your company from becoming a telecom statistic. We're on the 18th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the winning golf championship and the chance to drive home with the keys to a gorgeous GMC terrain. Now the rules for the 4 Telecom Help up and in playoff are simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the four telecom help up and in playoff will be a 40 yard pitch from the first cut. Joe Shorn will have the honors. Joe carries an eight handicap and plays most of his golf at broad run. Joe has chosen a gap wedge. This is a tough shot. There's undulation in the green, moving from left to right, and that's what he wanted to do. Get it back on the top here, and that gives him a much easier putt. And still coming back towards the hole. That's a great first shot by Joe Shorn. And now it's Scott Gamble's turn to try and battle this challenge in 18th green. Scott owns a 19 handicap and enjoys his golf at Waynesboro Country Club. Scott has also chosen a gap wedge. Again, he wants to try to get it up on the top here. The putt will be much easier if he can do that. Let's see what happens. Mint condition green here. Mark Williams keeps this place in perfect shape with a gap wedge. And look at his touch by Scott, rolling it up towards the cup. And that is a great effort by Scott Gamble. And now we have a putting contest. Well, Joe Shorn has a downhill putt. Not a ton of break here. 21 feet away. Let's see if he can roll this into the cup. The line looks good. Let's see if he's got enough speed. It's not quite that fast. He left himself with about six feet. So we'll mark that one. Well, Scott Gamble has 12 feet from the cup. Should move a little bit from right to left. Scott can roll this in. He will become the winning golf champion at Penos Golf Club. Beautiful setup, beautiful stroke. This one's got a chance. Scott Gamble right on the doorstep. Scott will tap that in for a three. If Joe Shorn rolls this in, we will have a chip off to determine our champion. If he misses, Scott Gamble is our winning golf champion. From six feet, Joe Shorn, and it's out to the right a little bit, which means Scott Gamble is our winning golf champion here at Penhurst Golf Club. 
Well, Scott Gamble, congratulations on becoming the winning golf champion here at Penn Oaks Golf Club. And boy, Scott, your short game was on fire all day. A great shot with your gap wedge there in the final. You hit the pressure shots when it counted. That's what great champions do. I hope you had a wonderful experience today with winning golf. Uh, Doug, I had a great experience. It was a great day. And Mc McGillan, uh, the host, uh, Howard Lee Bold, just had a great group of guys out here. I really enjoyed the camaraderie and the course and, uh, and then the competition. It was a lot of fun. Awesome, Scott. Well, your experience isn't quite over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm going to give you the chance to putt from only 60 feet for a brand new GMC terrain. Scott, I got to ask you, do you have room in your garage for one of those? Absolutely. You always have room in the, in the garage for a nice vehicle. Well, we're rooting for you, my friend. Well, the suspense is building. There's only 60 feet between Scott Gamble and a brand new GMC terrain. So whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back with more Winning Golf. How do you want to live? As a decent person? A fine human being, a good friend. Is that it? Good? Of course not. Parent of the year? Better. Making her heart skip a beat. Thump. One of a kind. Undeniable. Like a boss. Like a standard bearer. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. GMC. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's with fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Philly's mm. number one sports fans catch every game at PJ Willihan's, where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. At FootJoy, we collaborated with the game's top professionals to engineer our most powerful shoe ever, the Tour S. Power strap was basically my idea. The launch pods are Rafa special. What do you think happens in there? You know what, Beef? Underfoot cushioning was all my idea. So comfortable. Feel the power. Feel the precision. Feel the joy. The all-new Tour S from FootJoy. Beef. Beef. Yeah? It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new Buick Terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC Terrain. Winning Golf is thankful to have the Tri-State Buick GMC dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. So let me set the stage. We are on the gorgeous putting green here at Penn Oaks Golf Club. Our champion, Scott Gamble, is only 60 feet away. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Scott the keys to a spectacular GMC terrain. Oh, could this be the day we give away this beautiful SUV? This is a two-year lease. Our head superintendent, Mark Williams, has this green in perfect condition. It's downhill, so if he can get the right line, we've got a chance here. And here it comes. It's online. Should be moving from left to right a little bit. Speed looks good. The line looks good. It's coming towards the cup. And look at this effort by our champion, Scott Gamble. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's thrilling show from the gorgeous Penn Oaks Golf Club. I would personally like to thank the Penn Oaks staff and membership for hosting a very special day of winning golf. I'd also like to thank my wonderful host, Howard Lee Bolt, and the entire McGillan team, as well as congratulate today's winning golf champion, Scott Gamble. Well, it's a perfect day to practice my long putting, and believe me, it's fun to practice on these beautiful 007 bent grass greens. Hey, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins. I'll see you all next week.